Hello everybody, welcome to Bearware the Terrible. So today we are going through another new deck called the Mermaid Morons. So we are featuring this dubious duo and the Ditch and Splash attack which allows you to do 40x damage for each supporter card that you discard from your hand. And you get to discard as many as you like. So how do we retrieve our supporter cards? We retrieve it with our Misty's Favor which allows you to search your deck for up to 3 supporter cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand then shuffle your deck. And then we recycle them with our Search for Friends ability which allows you to put 2 supporter cards from your discard pile back into your hand as you evolve Delcati. And more importantly, we have our Lapras with the Mermaid's Call ability to allow us to retrieve our Misty's Favor every turn meaning we get to discard it again the next turn or to use the mist And more importantly, we have our Lapras with the Mermaid's Call ability to allow us to retrieve our Misty's Favor every turn. Meaning we get to discard it again the next turn or to use the Misty's Favor again. We even get to recall it on the same turn, meaning after using the Misty's Favor, collect 3 extra supporter cards into our hand, we get to retrieve it immediately, meaning we would have 4 supporter cards already at our hand if we have a Lapras on our bench and a Misty's Favor at our hand. So that would do 160 already with our Ditch and Splash attack. And then we have a Scoop Up Net to scoop up the Delcati to recycle the ability. We have some Captivating Buckets to get our energy. We have some Incenses to evolve our Delcati. And the most important card to have as well in this deck is a Poke Gear. The reason we need a Poke Gear is because we need a specific supporter card within the very first few turns of the game to allow us to do a lot of damage with our ditch and splash attack. So the supporter card that we need is, as you might have already guessed, Misty's Favor. So Misty's Favor needs to be out at hand within the first few turns of the game. That is why we need that Poke Gear. That is why we have three in this deck. And then also this deck is quite weak against the Leaf type because we are only 250 HP and it is a tag team meaning your opponent gets 3 prize cards for a knockout. So we need a weakness guard energy against a leaf deck because a leaf deck if they have a Rillaboom with the voltage beat ability, they would be able to charge their Pokemon very quickly and do 150 damage at least to each of our Pokemon. And 150 times 2 is already 300 which is enough to knock out our Psyduck already, our Slowpoke Psyduck. 
So we cannot have that. We need a weakness guard energy against a leaf deck, against a grass deck. And we need some Guzma Halas to call them out. Uh, and get the Poke Gear effect as well. So Poke Gear allows us to choose a Guzma Hala if we need it, or it allows us to choose a Misty's Favor. So really, this Poke Gear is a versatile, is a very flexible. It adds, it adds a lot of flexibility to the deck because it allows you to get any supporter cards that you need at the moment. That is why we have three of it. And then we have a Mellow Lana to heal and switch out if we need to. We have an Air Balloon to switch it out as well. We have two big charms to add the HP to 280. Uh, we have the regular supporter cards to draw. Uh, we have a co-trainer for Cynthia's, two Marnies, a professor's research, and our sailors. Featuring the water deck, we have a sailor, Ingo, and Emmett. It's not really that important to have this in your deck. I recommend actually to switch this to switch this card for a professor's research because Ingo and Emmett's ability only allows you to draw five cards. But the extra special ability that you get is that you get to look at the top card of your deck and choose whether to draw from the top or the bottom of your deck. But you still you still have the same effect as Professor's Research, only you draw less cards. So that's a bit of a downside. But you, you get to pick though. You get to look at the top card of your deck and pick. So that's the plus side. And I, the reason I add it is not because of its ability, is but only because it's the sailors. They are sailors and this is the water deck. So I want to feature them. I want to feature the sailors. And then we have a boss's order, which we need in every deck really. We need more than one, but I only have one. I'm sorry guys, I only have the one. As you can see in my collection, I only have one. And we have three uh, quick balls to get our to get our basic Pokemons out as quickly as possible. We have four Sonyas for the basic Pokemon or the basic energy, and two captivating buckets. So we need to charge the energy very quickly in the game because it takes two energies. It takes two water energies to be able to deal 40x damage. Meaning, if you have a weakness guard energy and a water energy attached, you don't get to attack. That is why you need two water energies attached already before you attach the weakness guard energy. Well, actually, you need to follow the game. If, if you need to protect it first, then you need to attach the weakness guard energy first. But the bad thing about this weakness guard energy is that it is it doesn't allow you to attach it as a water type. It is not a morphable energy. It is not a rainbow energy. It is a star energy, meaning you need three energies. If you attach a weakness guard energy, you need three energies to be able to do uh, any damage to your opponent. So that is the weakness of this weakness guard energy. So that is all for the deck analysis. Uh, as you can see, this is the deck list with the number of cards uh, already written. Uh, we have, if you can't see the bottom one, I'll show it right now. Okay, so now let's go on to demonstrate this deck with a few battles uh, in the versus ladder. So it's called the Mermaid Morons because it features our clueless idiots. <laughs> the clueless Psyduck and Slowpoke. And we also have some cats in our deck as well. We have our Skitty and our Delcatty. We have a Sonya in the first turn, that's good. Let's just do that so we can switch it out later. A Malamar. So a Malamar is a Psychic Dark type. So, not sure why they have a Malamar and a Fairy type. A Gold Quick Ball. Sword and Shield. And a Blow Away Bomb. They might have a Roxy, a Chinchino, oh no they just marnied us, 4 cards, oh thank goodness we have a Pokey Gear. Hopefully we get a Sonia so that we can get our tag team and our Lapras. Uh, we might get a Skitty instead, because there's just no point getting a Lapras this early. 
Ah, oh, damn it. We don't have a tag team. I'm just gonna Cynthia. Mm. I really don't know what to do. I might call a Sonia, but that's gonna waste another turn just to get that tag team. Uh, I'm gonna Cynthia. Because if I call out a Sonia, I'm gonna waste two turns. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, let's describe that. If I call out a Sonia, I'm gonna waste one turn just to call out my tag team. I'm gonna waste another turn to use a Cynthia or whatever to get out that energy and I'm gonna waste a third turn to charge it with two energies before I can do anything. So that's the bad thing about using that Misty's favor to get the Sonia out. Because Sonia is a supporter, Sonia is not a item. And Misty doesn't allow you to get an item anyway, so... Thank goodness we got a quick ball. That Marnie could really screw us, you know? Ah, uh, another Marnie. Oh well, we don't need that Delcari yet. Uh, would be nice to have a Misty's favor though. Uh, we can get that energy, but we can't do any damage. Oh, they have a... They have a... What's it called? A Whimsicott. A Whimsicott GX, which prevents damage. Prevents damage done to it if they flip a heads or something. It's a it's a fluffy cotton ability that protects them from all damage as long as they flip a heads. So really, if you use your ditch and splash, you're gonna waste the discarded supporter cards. If they flip a heads, you don't get to do damage, but you still waste your supporter cards. Um, I'm gonna take some water energies. Attach them and pass the turn. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to pass the turn. If I discard three, I can't get them back though. Ooh. Let's try thrilling times. I don't want to kill the Lapras because I don't want them to get that uh, price card. Oh, thank goodness, we flipped our heads. Yay, that was a lucky shot. Otherwise, we would only do 10 damage for thrilling times. So they're probably going to evolve the next turn and then use their Malamar to charge their uh, Whimsicott to do a lot of damage. Because Whimsicott's attack does 30 plus damage for each extra energy that they attach to their Whimsicott. Uh, I think it's only their Pokemon though, not, not both active Pokemons. It's only the uh, times the amount of energies attached to their Whimsicott. Psychic Recharge. They have Zixion as well. Sorry, to draw cards. Only Fairy Energy, I think. Oh, Fairy and Steel. Wow, that's that's interesting. Put back the Chinchino. Maybe they have the Incense. My computer just shut down three times, uh, just so just so you guys know, while I was recording, and this is like the fourth recording that I had to make. So <laughs> I hope it doesn't shut down now. But if it does, I wouldn't put it in the recording anyways. Um, what am I gonna do? Uh, five. Five is not gonna kill it. Uh. Let's hope we get a Delcaddy with our Professor's Research. If we use Professor's Research, Delcaddy wouldn't do anything though. Let's do Cynthia. Ooh, this is painful. Alright, we got our Misty's favor, that's really good. Uh, we can do 200 only though. Not enough to kill it, but... Uh, 20 more damage. That's that's good enough. So we can Lapras for a Misty and get three supporters out. 
You should have kept a Cynthia actually. Ah, oh, that was stupid. But then we don't have much supporter cards in our deck anyways. Uh, we actually still have a lot. Yeah, we should have kept the Cynthia. But if we use Cynthia, we can't use Misty's Favor anymore. Oh my goodness. They need Psychic Energy though. Why do they have a Psychic Recharge without any Psychic Energies? Fairy, Steel and Psychic? That's a lot of energies. They only need one fairy energy. The other energies, uh, you don't really need any types because it does 30 more damage times the amount of energy, any energy, attached to this Pokemon. Draw three cards. Uh, let's get another Misty. I don't know what to do. Let's get a boss's order, Alana, and Misty. No, you know what? Let's get uh, Professor's Research. We actually need our second tag team out just in case because that could really kill us. Uh, let's leave that capacious bucket because we can already retreat with our skitty. Uh, one would do the trick, I think. Fingers crossed that this computer doesn't shut off because I have my fan on already. I hope that does the trick. Uh, it could be malicious hacking. I don't. I don't really know what's the core issue of this automatic shutdown. Uh, it shut down three times, as I said, three times while I was recording, and it was mid game. It was. It was only one game, so I can't really put any of the recording in into my video. So they have 4 energies already, does uh, 210 I think, no, so this is uh, 130, oh not enough. And they have their second one out, Psychic Energy, oh dear dear dear. Blow Away Bomb, that's a funny deck. They have Ziction, they have Blow Away Bomb and they have uh, Whimsicott and they have Psychic Recharge, that's kind of all over the place because it doesn't really match well but it's gonna kill our Skitty, oh my goodness, our Skitty Chinchino to speed up the hand, Chinchino is not bad, Chinchino really goes with any deck as long as you, you know, leave enough space for other things Alright, we can kind of kill it, I think. How many can we get? 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How many do we need? 5, I'm so sure. Yep, we only need 5. So let's get our Misty. Let's get this one first. Uh, boss's order. Oh, we actually need a second one. Maybe use a Sonya? Do we have a Sonya? Yes, we have a Sonya. We need a second one. We definitely need a second one. Um, let's get another Misty and a Sonya. No, let's get a uh, Cynthia. Alright, let's get a Lapras and our tag team. Charge our second tag team, our clueless duo, um, and then ditch and splash. We need five. You see, we they don't flip a coin yet, which means we have to discard first before they flip a coin. That's the bad thing about that ability, that annoying ability. So what are we gonna do? Um, professor's research, I suppose. We have to discard all five. Oh my goodness, all five? Ah. Oh dear, they flipped the heads. Oh my god. All that discard for nothing. Oh 
Ooh, I should have bosses ordered. Bosses ordered something else. Uh, this whimsicott is really annoying. Another 20. Is it another 20? Oh my goodness, another 20. If they kill this and two skitties, and our Lapras is dead, oh my god. If they kill our skitty the next turn, then we are dead. We shouldn't have put that many skitties. And we should have left one professor's research or something just in case. Oh, that was so bad. This is just like the worst game ever. Whimsicott is the most annoying Pokemon ever. I probably should have a power plant in this deck to douse that ability. Oh, this is so annoying. They just drew they just drew four prize cards. Alright, we can get a professor's research now. Um I really don't know. I want I really want to scoop up that skitty because if they kill our skitty, then we are done for. Oof, this is so painful. Oh, we just saved the skitty, thank goodness. Oh, thank you. Um, well played. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are we gonna do? I need a professor's research, definitely. Uh, and a boss's order, uh, whatever. If I boss's order, I can't kill it though. Uh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Let's just put a skitty. We have another Lapras, and a oh, that's good. That's really, really good. Okay, let's evolve this because I don't want it to get knocked out. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that blow away bomb, that one tiny blow away bomb does so many damage. Accumulates. So we need 5, as I keep saying. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 I suppose. We don't need that Ingo and Emmett anymore. We need a Cynthia for sure. We don't need Sonia. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes! Oh my goodness! That was so close! Now we can boss's order for something else, get those two Misties, and we win! Oh my god, that is so, like, stressful! <laughs> if they flip ahead, they protect again! Oof. If we boss's order a uh, uh, Minchino, a uh, Chinchino, then we need three. Oh, it doesn't matter. We need 3 if we bosses order anything anyways. And 3 is gonna do 120, 2 is gonna do 80. 80 is not enough, so we need 3, but we have 2 Misty's favor to retrieve, so that's fine. They might concede already, who knows. They know we have a boss's order actually, because we use our Delcaddy. And yep, they conceded. They know we have a boss's order. Okay. And that Lapras can already take retrieve two Misty, so we only need one more out of the many supporter cards in our hand, and they can't take that chance. <laughs> they they rather concede. Okay, now let's go for our third game. Probably the last one. We are against a leaf and water type. A low tad. A low tad is a leaf and water type. A low tad deck. Alright, we got our quick ball, that is really really good. It's our turn I think. Oh, it's opponent's turn. That's really good, even better. It's always better to go second, because then you get to play your supporter cards. It's, it's better to play a supporter card in your first turn, because then you get to either use a Marnie to screw your opponent's hand, or to get your Sonya to get your basic Pokemons or your basic energy out as quickly as possible. And for this deck, it's even better to get a Pokegear to get a Misty's Favor and use that Misty's Favor to retrieve to search for 3 supporter cards already. If you can do that in your first turn, 
If you go second, that's even even better. Oh, we have our Poke Gear. That's really good. Hopefully, we get a Misty, and we can already search for three supporters. And we get our Quick Ball to get our tag team out. They have a Butterfree and a Bara. Can't remember what that's called. I can't remember the evolution, but an Arakuda's evolution allows you to do 130 damage for one energy. But you need to discard two water energies from your hand, I think. Panic poison. What are they gonna do? They have a they have a turf field, I think. They have a turf field and a a state another stadium card a training card a training card stadium card oh we don't even need to use that quick ball all right let's hope we get a misty's favor no misty uh damn it mm, what are we gonna do let's prepare our energy out maybe Uh, I don't know what to do. It might be a waste to use that Sonya because they are gonna Marnie us anyways. They might already have a Marnie but let's just do it anyways. Because we can't use any other supporters. If we use other supporter cards, then you know, it would destroy our hand. We would be destroying our own hand. Grismahala is useless because Panic Poison only does 60 damage. Is, is the for panic poison is the special conditions that do a lot of damage so really you need to heal your special condition if you're against a panic poison deck or you need to kill that parasite early in the game so that they don't do a lot of uh, panic spores on you They got a Metapod, now they need a Butterfree and an Energy. Lapras, 6, 7, 8, 9. So they can only do 90 damage to our Lapras. Uh, if we have an Air Balloon, we can get an Air Balloon with this one. Baroscuda. I think it's a Baroscuda. I can't remember the name. Oh, they just let us win. So let's go for our third game with the Mermaid Morons. In a previous deck, I called it, uh, I made an expanded format of the same deck, but it only features uh, Delcati's ability and the uh, tag team's Digin Splash attack. It doesn't, it doesn't have a Lapras in that. So that expanded format deck, I named it Dumb Splash because it features the dumb idiotic duo which is the Psyduck and Slowpoke with the clueless idiots <laughs> and it also features the ditch and splash attack so dumb splash so basically it's a mega splash deck but now I made a standard format of this deck adding a Lapras the Lapras was not my idea I met uh, another trainer and another player who uses that, that combo and it gave me that uh, additional surplus it allows me to add that Lapras to this deck to make it even more powerful because without a Delcati it really, it's not really that powerful and without a Lapras it's not really that powerful either so with both together the abilities of both Delcati and Lapras really does a lot to help your to help boost your ditch and splash attack by a lot of damage turn after turn so we don't have a good hand, we only have a Poke Gear. Hopefully we get a Sonya or a Cynthia. Or any supporters, really. Oh thank goodness. Oh yes, a Sonya. Okay, we're gonna get a uh, Lapras. Not sure if we're gonna get a Lapras. Lapras is only good if you have a Misty at hand. It's always better to have a Skitty in the first few turns of the game. Unless you have a Misty already, then it's better to have a Lapras. 
Um, is can they do a lot of damage to my skitty? Thirty. Mm, let's just leave it. We can switch with our Lana and evolve and kill this one. So they have an electric and a normal type. Alright, what are we gonna do? Um, let's do this and that one. That's gonna reset us. <laughs> That's gonna reset us to zero, um, zero cards in our hand. Oh, I probably shouldn't have discard actually. <laughs> you discard only if you want to heal. If you don't want to heal, you don't have to discard. So we are resetting our hand to zero hand. But we are drawing one price card, so hopefully we get a Cynthia or something good. Please give us something good. Yes, oh my goodness, we just drew a Cynthia. Oh my god. Oh, they just let us win. Yep, there was a quick win. So let's go for another game because that was too quick of a win. Um, we get to attack in the first turn, uh, in the second turn, sorry. Thanks to our Mellow Lana, we get to switch out. And thanks to our Delcaddy, we get to retrieve two supporter cards to, 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 for our first knockout. So really that's all we need to uh, destroy their confidence. Because they don't have enough energy, I think. We are already fully charged and they don't have any energies on their hand, maybe. They don't have any energies attached to their Pokemon. We have a Sonya, which is very good. And a Quick Ball, even better. A Steel deck. Goggles, oh my goodness. 30 less damage, okay. Uh, I'm gonna Sonia. I'm gonna get a Skitty because we have two Del Caddies, so might as well get a Skitty. And they are not, they don't have a leaf type, but we're not sure yet, so I might as well keep that quick ball. If we already have the the most important thing is to have a tag team in the first turn because we need to charge it. It's uh its attack cost is two water. It's not one energy. It's two energies. So that's the most crucial thing. The other things are not really important. The other things can come later in the game. So it's not really that important for me to use that quick ball already. I can leave it to use the next turn or even later. Okay, let's hope we get a Misty's favor. Uh, we don't need that Delcaddy yet. So let's hope we get a Misty's favor. Ah, damn it. Okay, let's leave it. I might use my coach trainer the next turn. Because it draws 4 cards, and we have a lot of supporters in our deck. So how much do we need to kill this? 160. Because of the metal goggles, we need 160 at least to kill it. That means we need 4 supporter cards, that means we need to draw 2 with our coach trainer. Or, we don't really need to draw anything because we have, a Del we have our Delcaddy. So, oh, we have to prepare for the Zation though. Um, that's scary. The Zation is really scary. 
Um, let's hope we have a Lana. Let's hope we draw a Lana with our coach trainer. We are gonna compress our deck first. Uh, get those water energy out of the way and draw some supporters. We we'll only draw one supporter, that's not good. Um, let's put this already so that we get to charge the next turn. Uh, we need four. One, two, three. Ooh, a Marnie would do us really good actually. Uh, but Marnie doesn't get us enough cards though. Let's just keep the Marnie. I really want to screw them because they have so many cards in their hands. But then they could already be screwed because they don't they don't really use much of their cards. They only need one energy. In those many cards, they only need one energy. Oh, happy match. Oh, they don't have that. It's not happy, it's lucky match. 230 is not enough, thank goodness. Uh, unless they have like a vitality band, which they don't, which they can't attach anymore. And uh, in the new standard format, because you know, in, with uh, with the release of every expansion, the standard format changes because you're not allowed to use the old expansions anymore. So with the release of every new expansion, the standard format changes. And with this new format, this new uh, round of standard format, there's no new supporter cards that allows you to add damage to your attacks. There's no Professor Kukui, there's no Giovanni's, uh, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's Giovanni's Command or something. So you can't really add any damage to your uh, attacks with any supporter cards or item cards. You can only add it with a Vitality Band. You can only add it with a Diancy or with a, a Martial Arts Dojo. There's no other Stadium cards even to add damage. So really, those are the only three cards. Um, what are we gonna do? Misty's Favor? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is actually not enough. Ah, if only we have... If only we have that Delcaddy. I think I'm gonna Marnie. Hopefully we get a Delcaddy with that Marnie. Hmm, that's so skitty. Oh my goodness, we don't have anything there. I just wasted that. Okay, let's use a Marnie. Five, hopefully we get enough supporters, damn it. Uh, we only have four. Okay, I'm just gonna put a big charm now. It's better to put a uh, float stone. Sorry, uh, air balloon. Air balloon is the new float stone, by the way. Um, but float stone is better. We all know that. So I'm just gonna get this too. Ooh, this is so painful. I don't even have any Misty's favorite in my discard pile. Okay, let's hope they don't switch and retreat because if they switch and retreat, then they get to attack again and kill our tag team. We only do 90 because of their metal goggles. Uh, we need 4 supporter cards. Yep, we need 4 to be able to do the knockout. Please don't have a switch and an energy. Oh my gosh, they have an energy. If they have a switch, we are done for. Ooh, a Mount Coronet. A Mount Coronet is still. Oh, they just retreated. That's good. They can't attack anyone unless. Unless they have a Metal Saucer, though. They need two Metal Saucers and a switch. Not possible. Oh, they just have a Cynthia. Now that's possible. <laughs> they need two Metal Saucers and a switch. And then they get to attack again. I didn't realize that Mount Coronet is still legal for the new standard format because it's a pretty old card. It's uh, Ultra Prism is the is the oldest one. It's the last expansion that you're allowed to use cards from. 
so meaning the next round, uh, the next release of expansion, after the next release of the new expansion, uh, Mount Coronet is no longer legal because Ultra Prism is the oldest. We have so many metal goggles. They are so afraid of abilities. I think it's the blow away bomb or the Dragapult. Yeah, probably the Dragapult. Dragapult VMAX that they are afraid of. Okay, uh, we don't have any basic, I just wasted that, so I should probably be smart enough not to use that quick ball. Our, our Delcati is useless now, we need a scoop up net. Oh my goodness, no energy? Uh, let's just save this one. And it might be better to use Thrilling Times. Uh, we would be killing ourselves and allowing them to take four prize cards the next turn, so no thank you. Let's leave it. Still no Misty's favor, oh my goodness. He's almost halfway through the deck. We're almost halfway through the deck and we don't have a Misty's favor, but we are probably gonna get it the next turn with our Poke Gear unless we are super unlucky and unless three of them is in our prize card. I can't remember how many we have. We drew one in our hand before we used the Marnie, uh, meaning one is at the bottom of our deck, uh, somewhere around the bottom. So hopefully we have a boss's order actually, but that wouldn't do anything. We don't have a Misty. Uh, let's just put this out. Okay, that's good. Um, Misty, we need a Misty. Give us a Misty. Oh my goodness, a Sonia? Three is not enough to kill that. Oh my god, that's annoying. I probably shouldn't have drew that Sonia. Oh, that was a stupid move. I should have just left it there. Are we gonna kill the Delcaddy? We have two more Delcaddies. If we kill this one, we have one more Delcaddy. Uh, hopefully it's in our deck. Hopefully we draw a few... Uh, four. We need four supporter cards. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we are gonna attach this one. Get a Delcaddy the next turn. Hopefully we have a Delcaddy and discard 4 for our knockout. Hmm, this is quite bad actually because they already have their Zixion. The Lapras, uh, was kind of hoping for a supporter card. So we can draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we can draw 4 supporter cards in the next turn. Or 160 and they just healed. 4 is not enough anymore. We need 5 now. 5 for research 200 and they need, we need 190. Yep, they just killed us. Oh my goodness. They use a Chatot to kill us. Smart. Are we going to do that? Yep, that's the only thing we can attack with. Bad thing about this deck. We only have one Misty, I think. Two, oh thank goodness. So we have three, we get to retrieve Misty three times, which means we get to retrieve it twice now, and then retrieve it again after using it. We only have 15 left in our uh, in our in our deck might be better to get another one a Marnie okay give that back and discard three I only need two okay let's discard two I forgot to check whether we have a Delcaddy in our deck but it doesn't matter. They are gonna try to kill us 
but we are 280, so they need a tool scrapper, and even then they can't kill us. 20 damage left, but if they do that, then the next turn they only need- Oh dear, a metal saucer! Ah! Uh, they're gonna kill us the next turn! And they just had a tool scrapper. Oh, that's bad. We need- we need another big charm. We need that big charm. Or we need a Lana, actually. If we have a Lana, that would be very good. Ah, I should have drew a Lana. A metal Lana. Oh, we don't have a Lana in our deck. We only have it in our price card. Damn it! Ah, I should put more Mellow Lanas in our deck. We only have one Mellow Lana. <laughs> Uh, we can't heal anymore. 230. I can't believe this. This is very bad. They're gonna attack us with their damage rush. They don't even need to flip our heads. Oh dear, they killed us? How did they do that? Oh, a Perserker. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we are dead. They killed us with a Zixion and a Galarian Perserker. Hmm, I did not see that coming. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna end it there. We had 3 wins and 1 loss. So we lose to a Steel deck, we lose to a Zixion because the Zixion is uh, quite ridiculous. <laughs> Zixion, as you know, does a lot of damage for only 3 energy costs and they can really attach it really quickly with their uh, Metal Saucers and, you know, uh, I actually I took quite a long time to charge it because it takes two energies, so it really does. It really takes a long time to charge even one, and it, the HP is not really that high. And if they use a tool scrapper, as you saw just now, uh, our big charm does nothing, and 250 itself would kill this alone. So, uh, and we didn't have our Misty's Favor. Bad thing is, if you don't get your Misty's Favor in the first few turns, then you are screwed. You need that Misty's Favor quickly. Uh, that's why we have 3 Poke Gear and Mellow Lana. Mellow Lana wouldn't even help us in the last game because they, they did a one hit knockout. Oh my goodness, that was quite unexpected. <laughs> um, but. You know, with every deck there is a weakness. Uh, for this deck, it is uh, the it is the HP because this is very low. I would say it's the lowest HP. Uh, no, the lowest is uh, the the pre-evolution trio. The Clever Togepi and Iglybuff Tag Team GX is only two hundred and forty HP. Uh, compared to that one, this is only plus ten HP. So it's not really a lot, and you get to kill it quite easily, especially if you are Leaf type. You only need 130. 130 damage would kill this if I don't have a weakness guard energy attached to it. If I have a weakness guard energy attached to it, I need to attach an additional 2 energies because I can't attack with 1 water and 1 weakness guard energy attached to it. I need two exactly 2 water energies. So that's a bad thing about this card. So that's it for this deck. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it features, as I said, our Slowpoke Psyduck Dubious Duo and the Mermaid's Call ability, uh, giving us the name of the Mermaid Morons. But of course, our cat is very important as well, our kitties, our search for friend Delcatty and Skittles. So this Skittle actually saved me once because I was up against an uh, Obstagoon. If you don't know an Obstagoon, an Obstagoon has a attack that allows you to block all damage from any basic Pokemon during their next turn, during your opponent's next turn. So meaning I can't attack with my Ditch and Splash, I can't do any damage to their Obstagoon with my basic Pokemon. I can only do, I can only either paralyze them, which I did with my Fake Out, or I can attack them with my Delcaddy. Delcaddy doesn't do a lot of damage, so I need to paralyze them, and I did. <laughs> I actually did paralyze them. I used fake out twice and the second time gave me a heads. It gave me a heads to paralyze them and then they couldn't use their obstruct attack anymore which means they can't protect themselves anymore and the next turn I get to use my ditch and splash and I get to knock them out 
and because I have a lot of bosses order, I get to recycle the bosses order with my search for friends ability. I get to keep bringing out, I get to keep uh, hacking them, hacking their bench by dragging out their Galarian Zigzagoon. Their Galarian Zigzagoon or their Galarian uh, Linoon on their bench. I get to drag those out and knock, it, knock them out before they evolve into an Obstagoon. So because of my boss's order, because of my search for friends, and because of my fake out, the most important thing, the fake out, <laughs> it allowed me to win that game against the, uh, the ominous Obstagoon. So that was a close shave for, the, for that game because if I didn't have a fake out, if I didn't have the ability that allows me to paralyze them, then I couldn't knock out that Obstagoon, which was, I think, their only active Pokemon, their last active Pokemon. So I, there's no way around it. I can't drag out any more bench Pokemon. That's their only active Pokemon. And they get to attack turn after turn. They get to protect themselves turn after turn. So I need to make sure that they don't use that obstruct attack. I need to make sure that they can't protect themselves from any basic Pokemon, which is our tag team. So that is all for this deck. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is called Mermaid Morons as I keep repeating myself. And we, uh, I think the only thing that I changed, that I modified this deck is when I first made this deck uh, in the standard format, I didn't have a Poke Gear, and it causes me a lot of losses because I couldn't get that Misty's favor out. And now, as you can see, even with the Poke Gear, it's quite hard to get that Misty's favor. So can you imagine without the Poke Gear, <laughs> it would be even more impossible to get that Misty's favor. And I also add a weakness guard energy to make sure that I protect myself against leaf type because this deck is weak against grass type. And grass type, as, as I said, if they do, they only need to do 130 damage to knock out our tag team and get three prize cards. So that is a whopping three prize cards that they are gonna get if they if they do only 130. And then uh yep. That's the only two modifications that I did. And then, yep, that's all. So if you want to join us for our next standard deck, we're going to be demonstrating our next standard deck. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to be demonstrating. We have 11 already, as you can see. So we have quite a lot to demonstrate. Um, I might demonstrate this Kinetic Distortion, our Psychic Dark deck, or the Plague. But join us for the next one and you'll see which deck we get to demonstrate and you can test them out for yourself. Or you can challenge us in the comment section below which deck or which card that you want us to make a deck out of or, or which uh, ability that you want to challenge us with uh, and uh, we'll make a deck for you, you know? We can make a deck for you if you challenge us. And don't forget to join our giveaway contest. Uh, you can find out more information about that in the description below. And I will attach the quiz questions which we'll, you'll need to answer if you want to stand a chance of winning some Rebel Clash pack codes. So you'll need to subscribe to our channel and answer the three quiz questions by commenting below the answer to those questions. And there's also a bonus for the most creative answer to question number three of the quizzes. If your answer is the most creative one, you get to win two extra Rebel Clash pack codes. So I hope you engage with us because we really need you to push our channel forward. So every little bit matters, every little comment matters, every little like matters. So hope you keep liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel. And that's it. So I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day and bye for now. Oregon.